Honey Farms' environmental stewardship efforts go back nearly 30 years, according to Executive Vice President David Murdoch. Way back in the 1980s, we were the first ones in our area to separate cardboard and from the waste stream. Uh, we actually earned an environmental award for that way back in the 80s. Since then, the Worcester, Massachusetts-based convenience store chain has focused on ways to cut energy costs while benefiting the environment. We've taken a lot of technologies uh, to try to save energy, uh, whether it be kilowatt hours or um, to help run out of all of the different compressors. We've most recently taken on a huge initiative of replacing all our electrical uh, systems and lighting inside and outside, uh, canopy lights, area lights, LED lights are, are, are common now in all our coolers, and uh, we've saved uh, quite a bit of uh, kilowatt hours. We're, we're looking to save close to a million kilowatt hours uh, in this, this year between the last couple of years. For the consumer, the results are most clearly seen at night when the canopy lights shine brighter than in the past. The customer's perception of our, our green look is when they see it at night and how it lights up and the LED is much brighter than our old lights uh, and they really like it. It's a much safer shopping experience. And in adding green elements to its business, the most significant initiative took place far from any of the stores. Last year, the retailer partnered with Quaben Solar to build an 18-acre solar farm and the initiative has grown since. We started out with one farm up in Barrie, Massachusetts. Uh, it was projected to do a million, uh, well, 1.4 uh, megawatts. It's, it actually does over two megawatts now. He's added another farm. So we're, right now we're, we've basically taken four megawatts off the grid and also saving money at the same time. Murdoch says he has no illusion of being the greenest business in the country, but he and his team want to do their part to help where they can. Most of our stores are in neighborhoods uh, and we've always been trying to be good neighbors and I think that this environmental stuff is also good good for, uh, for the neighborhood and being responsible uh, people in business. And we've tried to take an approach where we know we're not going to be green, but we want to be greener.